In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve second order or higher order differential equations missing y term. Consider this differential equation y double prime equals 1 plus y prime squared. As you can see in this differential equation, we don't have any term with y. And when we have such equations, for solving these type of differential equations, always we use the substitution. We suppose y prime to be z. So always we use the substitution for solving these type of differential equation. But why we do this substitution? Because with this substitution, we can reduce the order of the differential equation. Right now, we have a second order differential equation. With this substitution, we can make it a first order differential equation, which we know how to solve the first order differential equations. If we suppose y prime to be z, if we take derivative from both sides of this relation, y double prime is z prime. The derivative of y prime is y double prime and the derivative of z is z prime. Now, if we replace y double prime here with z prime and we replace y prime with z we get to this differential equation z prime is 1 plus z squared now we have a first order differential equation note that z prime is derivative of z with respect to x. We suppose the variable of this differential equation to be x. Actually, because we don't have any independent variable in this differential equation, we don't know what is the independent variable. But usually, a function in the mathematics is a function of x. So here we suppose the variable to be x. Anyway, z prime is dz over dx and it is equal to 1 plus z squared. Now, if we bring this 1 plus z squared to the denominator of dz, and we bring dx top, we have dz over 1 plus z squared equals dx. Now, this is a separable differential equation because we separated z from x. In the left side only we have z and in the right side we have x. For solving separable differential equations, simply we integrate from the two sides of the equation. So for finding the solution of this differential equation, we integrate from left side and the right side of the equation. So we have integral of dz over 1 plus z squared equals integral of dx. But we know that from the formulas of integral. This is a simple integral. Integral of dz over 1 plus z squared is tangent inverse of z, or tangent of z, and integral of dx, note that here is 1, integral of 1 dx is x, and don't forget to add a constant to one of the sides of the integral. Usually we add the constant to the side that x is there. So we add a c1 here to the right side. If you want to find here z explicitly in terms of x, we have to get rid of this tangent inverse here. From this relation, if we take tangent from both sides of this relation, because tangent inverse of z is equal to this expression, so z equals tangent of that expression. Note that here, in this differential equation, we are looking for y, not z. Here, we found z in terms of x. But z is actually y prime. So, so far we have y prime equals tangent of x plus c1. But how we can find y? We know that derivative of the function y equals this. So y equals integral of this. 
because again derivative of y equals this to get rid of this prime here we have to integrate to find y so y equals integral of tangent of x plus c1 dx but how we can find integral of tangent of x plus c1 note that tangent is actually sine over cosine now here if we do a simple substitution for example if we suppose u to be cosine of x plus c1 we suppose the denominator to be u then du derivative of u is negative sine of x plus c1 dx and if you look at the numerator here exactly not exactly but almost we have this in numerator without this negative so numerator of this integral is actually if we give this negative to the other side negative du and in number denominator we have u and this integral equals negative ln of u we know that integral of du over u is ln of u and we have to put this negative here but remember u is this so this integral equals negative ln of u which is cosine of x plus c1 and don't forget to add a constant when you integrate add the constant so finally as we see here this integral equals to negative ln of it's better to put absolute around the cosine here because this cosine can be positive or negative so negative ln of absolute of cosine of x plus c1 plus c2 and this is the solution of this differential equation now consider this second order differential equation x y double prime plus y prime equals 1 plus x square again similar to the previous question in this differential equations we don't have any term with y so because we don't have term involving y this differential equation we don't have any y so we use the same substitution we suppose y prime to be z and so y double prime is z prime with this substitution we can write this differential equation as x z prime note that y double prime is z prime x z prime plus z equals 1 plus x squared now we have a first order linear differential equation which we know how to solve this type of differential equation let me remind you how we can solve second first order linear differential equation in general if we have first order differential equation in this form y prime plus p of x y equals q of x first for solving this type of differential equations we have to find the factor of integral which usually we show it with mu of x the factor of integral is e to the power of integral of p of x dx what that p of x is the coefficient of y and then y equals to 1 over mu times integral of mu of x times by qx 
dx plus c. We can find always y from this formula. First of all, note that in this differential equation, instead of y, we have z. Instead of y prime, we have z prime, and instead of y, we have z. It doesn't matter it's y or z. But note that if you want to use this formula for solving this differential equation, the coefficient of y prime must be equal to 1. Here the coefficient of y prime is 1, but here coefficient of z prime is x. So first we have to make coefficient of z prime equal 1. To do so, we divide both sides of this relation by x. If we divide left side and right side of this differential equation by x, then z prime plus 1 over x z equals 1 plus x squared over x. So we divide left side and right side by x. If we divide this term by x, x cancels and so z prime only remains. And if we divide this term by x, note that the coefficient of z here is 1, which if we divide it by x, we have 1 over x. So finally, we get to this differential equation. Now we can use this method for solving this differential equation. First, we have to find the factor of integral. Mu equals to e to the power of integral of function integral of 1 over x dx integral of 1 over x is ln x and e to the ln x is x we know that e to ln of any expression equals the same expression so the integrating factor is x now we can use this formula for finding y actually z in this case because the function is z not y z equals 1 over mu which is x times y integral of mu x times by q of x note that q is this function not this times by 1 plus x squared over x dx plus c if you multiply this x in this fraction actually we can cancel x with x in denominator so what remains is only numerator so z equals 1 over x times by integral of 1 plus x squared dx plus c. Integral of 1 is x. Integral of x2 is x to the 3 over 3. And finally c. Now similar to the previous example, z equals this but z is y prime and we want to find y not z we are looking for, for the function y in the given differential equation so y equals to this expression and if we multiply 1 over x in the bracket 1 over x times x is 1. 1 over x times x to the 3 over 3 is x squared over 3. 1 x from the top cancels with x in denominator. So we have x to the 2 over 3. And finally, plus c over x. Now, sorry, I forgot to put prime here. 
z is y prime so y prime equals this for finding y we have to integrate this expression to find y because y prime derivative of the function y is this to back to the function we have to integrate opposite of derivative is integral so y equals to integral of this expression 1 plus x to the 2 over 3 plus c over x dx integral of 1 is x integral of x to the 2 is x to the 3 over 3 but be because we have a 3 in denominator right now x to the 3 over 9 and finally integral of c over x is c ln x note that for finding integral of c over x dx first you can pull out c to the outside of the integral and then you have 1 over x integral of 1 over x is ln of x so and don't forget to add a constant here let me make these c's here c sub 1 and so now i can add another c say c sub 2 to the integral because the original differential equation is of second order so in the general answer we have two unknowns when we have a first order differential equation we have one unknown when we have second order differential equation in the answer we have two unknown as we have here c1 and c2 are two constants but we don't know what are those constants i hope by watching this video you have learned how to solve second order differential equations missing y term in the next video i will show you more examples of this type of differential equations if you like this video please subscribe in my channel and thank you for watching